Hi everyone, welcome back to the crew of Misbehaving in B-17 The Mighty Eighth Redux. We're about to set course for mission number 10 on our 25 mission uh, tour of duty. Um, we're going back to the previous targets, the Cologne Marshall Yard is our primary. We missed it last time, so they're sending us back out there. Uh, the route we're taking is just as unforgiving as last time. Uh, we've got the Solgen Steelworks there, which is the secondary. We've got the oil production facility, which is the tertiary. And the primary target, which is down here. Nope, it's down there. Um, so yeah, I will adjust all this again. We'll come and bomb probably this way from west to east and then cut back through the flak and away. You are cleared for takeoff. Welcome back everyone, it's uh, 8.28 in the morning, we have formed up and we are heading out, just coming over the English coast now. Uh, looking out the windows you can see how thick the cloud is, it's going to be a real challenging day to get the bombs anywhere near the target once again. This seems to be, a real, really seems to be our little bogey circuit doesn't it? We don't seem to be able to do any bombing around Cologne, anywhere around that little area is just curtains for us. Our, cl our cloud cover and our visibility has been so poor. Um, well, we'll just have to see what we can do. Five high. Oh, we got um, the Mustangs peeling away down there. I'll get my gun to him. Anyone else? Yeah, I see him. Two of them coming in. One oh nines as well. Oh my goodness, two flights coming in. Joyous. We've got a smoking bomber below us. So a flight of 109s and a flight of 190s. Happy days. Bull turrets blazing away here. What have you seen? It's finished firing now. Below our guns. Darting away. Somebody over here. There is a there is a smoking uh, aircraft coming in here. I can only be an enemy, otherwise the friendly would go home. That's another one. Six o'clock level. Don't see him. Might have been the one we, which crisscrossed the one we were tracking. No, oh no, there she is. They see him. 
Hits, 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 hits. Ten o'clock level coming in. I see ya. Peeling off early. See some fire down where we think he's going to be. Did that one go down? Which first attacked the rear? I'm not sure. Fighter coming in. Got him. He's burning. Beautiful. Another one coming in. That's one definitely gone. Five o'clock high. Good hits, good hits. Oh, yes. 109. I think that was me, the, um, the waste gunner, and probably this crew here with the, uh, the chief on the front. Fighters coming in. Didn't get to my gun sight, unfortunately. Okay, we're making the waypoint turn now. We're coming up to the decision point. So we need the radio operator back on his station. So we can get the weather forecast up the three target locations. He's been down on the cheat gun, as he often does help out during these uh, dogfights. Well, not really dogfights, but the enemy attacks, fighter attacks, should I say. Right. Primary target, please be nice. Weather at primary target oh. is believed to be cloudy with six That's not terrible. Cloud at approximately six thousand feet. Six tenths cloud, okay. Weather at secondary target is believed to be cloudy with six tenths cloud exactly at the same. six thousand feet. And tertiary? Weather at tertiary target is believed to be fair with four tenths cloud at approximately six thousand feet. Okay, so tertiary is marginally better, but I think we'll stay on target and go for the primary once again, and hopefully we'll <laughs> do a little bit better than last time. There's a couple of fighters down there. This one's coming in. Friendly's diving away. He looks dead. Dead engine to me. Yeah. This is gliding home by the two or gliding lower. Or maybe bailing out. I can see a contrail there. Here he comes. Oh, certainly got them to change their mind if nothing else. Fighter coming in. Okay, we're coming up to the bomb run now. We're still under attack from those Focke-Wulf 190s. I think it's the second flight of them. Um, so yeah, we'll... Uh, well, maybe it's just the, the stragglers, because um, they don't seem to be that many coming in. Oh, hello. Speak the devils. We're on the bomb run. Okay, up in the bombardier's position, looking through the northern bomb site. <laughs> it's another challenging day. Not as bad as last time. Um, how is uh, the cloud is much to muchness? We'll just continue to stare through it then, and hopefully we can pick out those warehouses. Quick look at the recon film. We can see right residential buildings as we come in. Then there's a, sort of like a green belt of fields and a bit of woodland. Then you see the more industrial landscape with the uh, the various stores and warehouses and buildings on the edge of that woodland there. That is our target. Okay, looks like we're going to get the Luftwaffe treatment rather than the anti-aircraft treatment, which is fine. I can definitely see the two 
hangers there just as the cloud comes over. Uh, it's not going to be as long a drop as that. Let's drop that down to say like 3 8, that's fine. Uh, oh, and they're all coming forward firing. They know the uh, bombardiers are looking down the gun sights and not on the, chi the chin turrets. Oh! It's a bit of anti aircraft fire. There's one burst of it anyway. And here comes the heavy clouds. I can still see the. Um, last minute through the clouds could be another horrendous miss bombs away. bombs away though you could say it's another speculative shot as a fighter zips below us dodging the bombs as they fall here's the target then right the aircraft should be coming towards us and the bombs should start probably falling in the industrial park, as it were. And then, uh, oh, we are... The bombs are flying quite the way over there. But... No, I'm fairly happy with that. That's, that's as good as it gets. Well, not quite, but, um, yeah. Thumbs up, happy. And it's coming in five level. Okay, we got some light flak coming up. Nothing too much to worry about at the moment. Everyone else. Okay, we got screams from the back of the plane. Oh, it's the nose actually. They've just taken a strike in the nose. Oh yeah, <laughs> wouldn't you know? It's the navigator station. Always seems to get a battering. Let's let's do some diversion then. Let's. Oh, that was the pilots that time. I said us, everyone. Let's um. Fire in the nose. Let's get some. See the smouldering and the smoke coming through. Oh, is it that one? Where's the other fire? Radio operator. There's another fire. Go and find it. Ah, oh, there it is. Okay. Okay. So I've just sent the <laughs> the bombardier to go and fight the fire on the flight deck, and not the one in the nose. Uh, and I've sent the radio operator. To go and fight the fire in the nose, not the one in the flight deck. So, yeah, it'd be useful if they were labelled. Well, there you go. The flight deck's um, no longer burning. The nose is. So, hopefully, um, radio operator will be here. Here comes the ball turret. Uh, sorry, here comes the bombardier back. And the radio operator should quickly fix the fire here. Okay, we've got one of the pilots gone down. And meanwhile, our uh, top turret gunner was showing the uh, the spooked kind of stressed icon. So we're just taking control of him just to calm him down. It's a quick way to uh, reduce the stress factor. Is to just take control manually and just um, do their job for a while. Looks like the fighters have finally departed and the flak has also left us behind. Okay, here's John giving some medical treatment to our pilot. Fantastic, you can see the, uh, the splinters in the glass where obviously some shrapnel has come through. Yeah, yeah, I'm okay. I'm okay. 
Good stuff. Moments later, we've got more injuries. We've got the uh, bombardier has gone down injured, and we've also got the um, top turret gunner has also gone down injured. So I took control of Keith Emig um, when he was spooked, but obviously he'd actually been wounded and he was just kind of in shock. Um, and obviously once the shock's died down, he's realised he's actually injured and he's gone down. Um, John's coming to help him. Uh, meanwhile, we've got Charles Taylor, our navigator, looking to pick up Solomon, uh, who's also gone down injured. Okay, we've got some flak. We weren't predicted any flak back here, but here we go. Let's see if we can do some um, altitude changes. John, get us down. Okay, that seems to be the end of that flag. We must have strayed um, by some navigation when the navigator was down injured. Sorry, the navigator was giving first aid to the bombardier. Okay, as we near the English coast, our navigator is lost, uh, which is not good for the chief because her number one engine is windmilling. Uh, it looks like it's out. So let's see if we can locate where we are and um, get our navigator back on track okay it looks like we're just coming up to the coastline now we've got a water or an estuary there and that going in over there all right let's see if we can get this located oh yeah look he thinks he's we're far ahead of the game i think we're here i really don't know where we are yeah i do mate i do you're um you've missed kept the time or something we are coming about there maybe actually slightly over there i didn't see a town Oh, there's the town there. Yeah, okay, we're coming up to the town now, so we are, in fact, right there. Brilliant. Okay, uh, oh no. Just as we, oh, we may have an issue here. Stay low, boys. Oh, she's diving and down. No one's diving down. We are over um, home base, somewhere down here. We're dropping back, but this one has just lost two engines. And I fear that they're going to crash literally over, there's the home base there. Oh no, we're going to lose a bomber. Hopefully they can bring it down for a um, some kind of force landing. Oh, that's heartbreaking. Okay, it's getting a little bit close down here with all these aircraft. Um, no explosions yet. Oh, I spoke too soon. I hear the boom. I don't see anything, but I heard the boom. That was that bomber, I think, coming to rest. Such a shame. Such a shame. Oh, there it is. There. Oh, so close to home base. Right. Um, we don't want to have that befitting of us so we are going to make that turn now gear coming down nicely going to land on the uh, non-active runway deploy the flaps oh, that's heartbreaking see the smolder coming oh, it looks like they may have been lining up for the long runway and they've come down in the woodland just over there heartbreak Right, thankfully our bomber is in pretty good nick. We've got some holes around the bomb bay and we've got some holes around the, the nose and the um, the flight deck. We're coming in a little bit sharp. Oof. We let the tail slam down there, which the... Um, the waste gunners and the uh, tail gunner will not thank us for. That would have been quite um, painful. But um, we are down. I'm going to cross this active runway now. There you go. And uh, go and park up. And so uh, there we have it. Into debriefing we come. 
to read that the mission date of March 28th, 1944. Target attacked for the second time. Cologne Marshalling Yard. Distance flown 950 miles. Bombers lost, missing one. And it was literally right at the end. Heartbreak. Heartbreak. Ah, Enemy fighters shot down, though. Five, which is a good tally. Bomb damage estimate. Totally destroyed. Get in there. Apart from that bomber at the end, that was a good day. Um, crew injuries suffered. Second Lieutenant Beasley got a light wound. And Second Lieutenant Tilly got a flesh wound. There's the bomb damage assessment. Beautiful. So, medals awarded. Second Lieutenant Beasley receives the Purple Heart for his injury. And Staff Sergeant Ashilman, who is the tail gunner, receives the Legion of Merit. Wow. Missing crews accounted for. The Bad Penny crashed in friendly territory. We know. We saw her. And sadly, all aboard were killed in action. So, as we come into the captain's office, we can have a look at the uh, misbehavings record. So, missions flown. Ten. Enemy fighters kills. Eleven. Wait, has that gone down? Okay, I've realised what's gone wrong. You probably called this from the start. Uh, we've done mission number 10. We've repeated it. For some reason it didn't save. Uh, so we've got mission 10B, where we got to go back to Cologne Marshalling Yard and have another go. Uh, this time, thankfully, history is on our side and we totally destroyed the target. Um, no fighters shot down though. I'm not sure why he got a Legion of Merit then. Maybe because he fended off a number of um, fighters coming in. Ah, so that should have been really mission number 11. Which will be blatantly obvious to all of those when you start watching this episode. Thinking, huh? Uh, I'll have to label it mission 10B or something. Ah, man. Frustrating, but at the same time... At least we, we've um, rectified something that went wrong last time. Wilton Solomon, despite being injured, uh, continues with us. Uh, he's got above average gunnery, uh, sorry, bomb aiming now, which is good. Our navigator, Charles Taylor, navigation good. Got lost this time, but we managed to put him back on track. James Tilly, our pilot. Above average piloting, slowly creeping up, I hopefully. I hope, because he's not really doing much. Our co pilot. Sadly, has been injured and has gone to the medical wing. Keith Emig, our top turret gunner. Excellent gunnery and good technical skill. Our radio operator, John Osnarek. Above average gunnery, average first aid, though we're throwing him at every medical emergency we can. George Wheeler, our bull turret gunner. Excellent gunnery. Going well. Charles Marsh, left waist. Good gunnery skills. Burnt Landfield. Good gunnery skills on the right waist as well. And on the tail, Ron Eilschulman is um, good gunnery skills. Uh, and he's uh, sitting in for our um, our normal wait, uh, tail gunner. Oh man, I can't believe we've repeated that mission. Never mind. <laughs> Hopefully you won't mind too much. Uh, Harlan McKnight, our pilot. Um, he is, well, he's two, three, four... Five missions complete. He's returning to the aircraft. Um, Brad Cubitt, our original bombardier. Excellent bomb aiming, as you can say. He's due back. When's he due back? On the... Oh, wow. April the 5th. That's that's some that's a month away. Crikey. Oh, no, hang on. What were we? We're 28th of... Um, 28th. Of March, so no, it's only it's only a week away. Beg your pardon, I beg your pardon. Uh, John Worsley, our tail gunner, original, good gunnery skills. Uh, he's done a number of missions. He should be returning to the aircraft once he's discharged on the fifth as well. And Drew Beasley, our co-pilot, been injured this time. He's got good piloting skill. Um, he got injured. Obviously, he got his purple heart. Um, it's a light wound, so he should be back uh, in a well, four days. She's not too bad. Oh no, five days. Cool. Right then. Um, m next time, mission number 11. <laughs> For reals this time, I promise. Yes. Oh man, I'm just <laughs> gutted. 
Ah, well. There we go. We got to redo the uh, Cologne Marshalling Yard. I, th I thought they were punishing us for missing it last time, but no, it's just me. Just me. Uh, right, mission number 11 will be coming next time. <laughs> I promise. Thanks so much for watching. Take care. I hope you didn't mind repeating this mission. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.